Hey class, and uh, welcome um, to pretty much the middle of the, the week here. And uh, I want to start off by uh, doing as I had promised and just touching on some uh, assignments. You can see here I am going to highlight a uh, student student of the, of the week or term, if you will. Uh, Brandon did an excellent job on his assignments, and uh, Chris and I have asked if, if he'd be okay with us uh, using those for you guys to look at as, as kind of an excellent example of what we're looking for um, on the work here. So uh, I'm going to post this. I, I understand on the video it's going to be kind of hard to see everything that is on his page, but I am going to post this um, uh, on, uh, on the Blackboard page so you can see it um, and look at it in more detail. So I encourage you guys to, to go through that and to see um, you know his answers and, and how he filled in the, the analysis on the story analysis worksheet. But just real briefly, um, overall, everyone did great. Um, most, oops, uh, I wanted to do a copy so that <laughs> I had taken some notes there. So uh, what I wanted everyone to do, sorry, let me get my, I've got, got like five different little boxes operating on my screen here. Um, but basically, I wanted to just commend you guys. Uh, this, is, this was uh, obviously a worksheet, not a major paper. But uh, it was an important assignment nonetheless. And overall, you guys got the, the main gist of what we were hoping you to do here. Um, most understood the content and did more work than they actually needed to do on this. Uh, again, we were just wanting you to fill in the, the, the boxes of the worksheet. And some of you went over and above, and that's fantastic. Um, I think when students do that um, overall, that's, that's a good thing. And uh, so, yeah, you guys did great. Um, and uh, again, I want to show that with this example of, of Brandon, for instance, um, we basically said this is definitely 100% paper, um, and uh, you, you wouldn't want to worry about going over and above what this example and what he did is, um, and, and a lot of you did. Uh, so this is kind of an example of about what we were looking for, and, uh, but overall, great job. Every, everyone seemed to do well. If you didn't do as well, there's a reason why, and we, we told you in the comment section. Um, if there was one thing that you guys maybe struggled on was identifying how the foil actually functioned uh, in the story. And uh, most at least got it. You can see what, what Brandon put, didn't put a ton of, of words. But um, uh, if you guys are still wondering what that is and how it works, the foil um, in, in this uh, story, please, in Judges 16, just, just give me a shout. Um, it didn't, I didn't want that to throw anybody off, but, uh, but, uh, it, it shouldn't throw some people off. So, um, that's the story analysis. And then I want to also show you the second Samuel, um, analysis and let's see if I can actually, um, see my own comment here. Okay. So again, you guys, you guys did great, um, on this. Um, the suggestions that we have for you guys is, one, the literary devices that most of you used, um, you didn't use very many. So try to find uh, different kinds of literary devices than, than what you did. Um, a lot of you put, like, detail or authority. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of different literary devices you could have used. So um, that's, that's one of the things. That, that we're looking, you know, for you to do is not just, oh, good, I could find a whole bunch of this or a whole bunch of that, but to, to be able to get used to seeing that there's multiple literary devices um, in the text. And uh, Brandon did a good job, you might see my pop-up there probably, um, with that. And uh, so, yeah, good example to look at um, is his. Um, rather than going through, like, here's the exact correct answer, I always think it's, it's best to see, here's a student that really grasped the assignment, did a great job on it, and then kind of compare to that. If you look at like what Brandon did, and you still have questions based on what you did or comments that were made on the paper, just give me an, a, an email and uh, I'll clarify that for you. But that uh, should be pretty um, self-explanatory, and uh, these worksheets aren't meant to stump you up in any way. They're meant to basically just to us, for us to see that you are grasping the reading and material, and you're able to show that in the worksheet. So, um, and then the second thing is that we wanted you just to give as much detail as possible in the right column. Um, 
going over and above a little will obviously move students into that you know perfect score territory. But uh, uh, some of you would would not do hardly anything. You know, you you might write one thing or you couldn't think of something. Obviously, we'll, we'll ding you a little bit on that. But uh, Brandon did a good job here of of showing about the amount of content that that uh, that we need. Obviously, he wrote a lot on some and uh, and at least a good couple few sentences on each one. So that's about what we're looking for here. Um, and uh, obviously, there's some some leeway, but uh, hopefully, those will those will help you just kind of understand, you know, what what those assignments are looking for. So those um, are the the two assignments. I think I'm actually going to press um, pause on this, and I'm going to make another video on this week's stuff. So um, that's that's it for for these assignments. Good job again, and I'll be posting. Um, these examples of Brandon's work. Good job, Brandon. And uh, any questions, let us know. Thanks.